I just spent an incredibly awkward holiday with my girlfriend's rich parents. They hate me, and this is why. My girlfriend and I, we've been together for almost three years. 99% of the time, we're great. She's funny and smart, and we have a lot of shared interest. But every time we visit her family, I start doubting everything. They are very wealthy, which by itself is not a bad thing, but they're also very fixated on being rich and having a habit of placing the monetary value of things and people over everything else. I come from a very middle-class background. I have a good education and a decent career that I really love, but I'm definitely not rich. Because of this, they view me as a loser. For example, yesterday we made the two hour drive to her parents in my newish Honda. When we got there, her mom immediately ordered me to park the car behind the house so the neighbors wouldn't see it. She was furious we did not bring girlfriend's Land Rover, which they bought for her as a birthday gift last year. Girlfriend doesn't like to drive on long trips and I'm not allowed to drive the Land Rover, per her parents' request. So, we brought my Honda. Girlfriend's dad has never spoken to me directly. Even when she introduced me the first time, he turned to her and said, What does he do? So, we went in the house and I gave her dad the usual, Hi, Merry Christmas. And he gave me the usual disinterested glance. One more example. Last year, I made the mistake of bringing a bottle of wine. It was a $25 bottle of wine, which is pricey for me. And I even had the wine store lady help pick me it out. Girlfriend's mom told me to put it in the kitchen. They did not open it while we were there. And she later admitted to girlfriend that they re-gifted it to their housekeeper because it was, quote, gas station hooch. We managed to get through a day yesterday without much drama, Except the whole car thing, which I'd normally consider a win. But today, I keep thinking about the whole situation with her family and wondering if I'm really willing to deal with these people for the rest of my life. Girlfriend and I have tossed around the possibility of getting married more than once, but I know they'll never accept me. If we get married, I'll have to see them a lot more than once a year. Girlfriend has given up trying to defend me to her parents and just ignores their bullshit most of the time. But I can tell it bothers her too. They bankroll a big chunk of her lifestyle and I think she's worried they'll cut her off. If she pushes too hard, they've even threatened to do other things. So, not to sound like an a-hole, but am I wasting my time? Is this relationship doomed? Girlfriend always tells me she does not care what her family thinks, but I'm not so sure that's true. She always tries to downplay how shitty they are to me, but I know I'll never be good enough for them, even if I'm good enough for her. So, in this story, the OP's girlfriend's parents are so far out of line. The fact that he's not even allowed to drive a car that they don't even own is next level a-holism. Let me know what you guys think of this story. There's a complete update for it. Smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new and let's check out this update. Little did I know this blew up overnight and made the front page. Girlfriend saw it. I did not give any names or locations but there was enough specific information that she had no trouble figuring out it was me. So, Thursday, while at work and still unaware of all this, I got a dreaded, we need to talk text. Yep, all caps. And I was like, well, pff, I'm dead. She was feeling hurt and angry when she sent that text, but she said she had time to read through some of the comments and think about things and she was not as upset when she came to my apartment later. Also, she brought food. Still, she said I had no right to tell the whole internet about our relationship problems. I agreed and apologized. 
She knows I'm writing this update and she's going to read it before I post. The reason for that being she admitted the internet actually made some good points regarding our relationship issues. We talked for a long time Thursday night. She said she knows her parents treat people like crap and they can't control her and her siblings with money. It's particularly a culture thing, according to her at least. Girlfriend was born and raised in the US, but her parents grew up in a different country. They were rich, so they moved here a long time ago. She said they had a hard time assimilating with upper class Americans and flaunt their wealth because they're socially insecure. Girlfriend also implied that kind of behavior was a lot more acceptable in their home country in the 1980s and they never changed. She grew up seeing them act that way and, at least when she was younger, thought it was normal. On top of that, girlfriend's mom was, or <laughs> is, emotionally and physically abusive. She said her mom used to slap her for quote, talking back, and once cut up all other girlfriend's clothes and bedding, after an argument over her going out with some high school friends. Girlfriend says she's still afraid of her mom and has a hard time standing up to her. She also got very little affection from her parents growing up. It seems like that was replaced with material things instead. So to her, being cut off from her family financially is the same as being cut off emotionally. All that being said, girlfriend does not expect me to visit her parents again. She was very apologetic about how they treated me and also about not calling them out. She was really hurt that I said I thought I was quote wasting my time in the earlier post. I said I'm sorry and I really am. I was still raging a little when I wrote that. I asked her about maybe letting her parents cut her off financially and just living on her own. It would not mean she has to go no contact, but their relationship would be based on something other than money. We've been talking about moving in together for a while now, and she actually suggested she move out of the townhouse that her family pays for and into my apartment. I'm totally fine with this. We've been together for almost three years, and I think we would have moved in together a while ago if her parents weren't so against it. She's really nervous about being on her own financially, but she's willing to give it a try. We spent hours yesterday going through her finances and coming up with a budget. It's going to be a big change in how she lives and thinks and things. I'm managing my expectations as far as spending is concerned. No one can change their habits overnight. We're not combining our finances or putting her name on the lease or anything like that yet. The plan for now is to split the cost of rent and utilities and she asked me to put her on an allowance for spending her own money. She also gave me the credit cards her parents pay for and told me to hide them. <laughs> it's weird to me to have this much control over another person's finance. We're going to give it until my lease is up in March. My apartment is a little small for both of us and all our stuff. And then, assuming all this works out, we'll look for a place to officially live together. She isn't going to tell her parents right away, but she promised she will before March. I'm so glad this update ended like this. OP and his girlfriend can work through this and finally, she's cutting them off financially. Here's one comment that I saw on the update. Dude, that's wonderful to hear. This is really good eye-opener for her. She should bring everything she can of hers little by little to a safe location. So her parents can't just decide that's her stuff actually belongs to them somehow. Let me know what you guys think of this update in the comment section down below. As always, if you have any similar situations, drop them too. Our next story, am I the a-hole for telling a bride it was not that difficult for people to upstage her at her own wedding? My family and I are from Albania, but we live in the US. My cousin David got married to his wife Lizzie this weekend. 
In Albania, we always go all out for weddings, and David wanted to keep many cultural traditions. Lizzie did not like the idea. Lizzie had sent out the invites via mail, and also had some rules written down as in no kids allowed, black tie dress code, and absolutely no plus ones unless both bride and groom approve of it. I'm engaged and I thought my fiancé would be included, but David said Lizzie is against plus ones. I said that even if Lizzie is against it, my fiancé has been in the family for years, way longer than Lizzie's been around, plus he's a friend of David as well, so he would come as a friend. David was frustrated and said Lizzie has set down most of these rules, and whenever he goes against her, she gets mad, so we should cut him some slack and just bear for it for his sake. I thought it was ridiculous how he could not stand up for himself, but I guess it's not my business after all. All of my Albanian side side-eyed the fact that the wedding was kid-free because we're used to involving kids at weddings. The bride and her family refused to make any compromises about it and showed respect to David and his wishes. But again, none of our business despite our frustration. Despite the black tie dress code, most of the bride's family turned up in jeans and flannel shirts. The women just wore casual maxi dresses. Our side of the family dressed more formal. The bride just wore a white knee-length lace dress from H&M. The reception took place in a cabin by the lake, which had animal head trophies hanging on the walls. The only music we heard was some slow pop songs and then country music. Every time the DJ tried to play some more traditional Balkan music, the bride's family would get him to change it. The bride also made a huge deal out of the fact that we were dressed formal and how we overdid it and quote upstaged her. She kept complaining about it all night long and was throwing tantrums to David about how we as his family are very disrespectful. Lizzie also implied that David's sister looks like a high-end escort with her outfit, but David's sister tried to keep it together for David's sake. After constant insults thrown around all night, I told her to chill out. She said she won't chill out because we disrespected her. I told her, first off, if she was scared she was going to be upstaged, she should not request black tie dress code. And secondly, to be honest, it was not that hard to upstage her because I've seen grandma dresses fancier than the one she's wearing. So she's the underdressed one for her own wedding, which was supposed to be a black tie event. Anyways, David's entire family sided with me, but David said that I'm an a-hole for speaking to the bride like that on her special day. I told him that if the bride requires kindness, she should start for herself. Am I the a-hole? Well, I guess you can say this is a case of bridezilla. Let me know what you think of this or if you've ever been to a wedding where they tell you, hey, it's black tie, and then when you show up, people are in casual wear. Let me know what you think of that in the comment section down below. That's all the stories I have for you guys today. I hope each and every one of you have a great day. And remember, uh, it's cool to be kind. I'll see you guys tomorrow.